if you don't know how to create a site new site in sharepoint then watch this video i'll put a link for this video in the description down below go to sharepoint and click on your site name in my case it is smart insure next you need to click on site contents in this site contents you need to click on this plus new drop down select list here you need to select blank list next provide the list name i'm going to type it as demo list and then click on create button your demo list is ready now you need to add columns here i have title i'm going to change the title as product name and i'm going to click on the save button now the title will become the product name i'm going to add one more column which is of choice type i'm going to give the name as category and here in choice i'm going to add two choices one is electronics the second choice will be fashion only two choice i have added for this category once it is done i am just going to click on this save button now our category column also has been added uh, and i'm going to add one more column which is of single line of text the name of this column will be price and i'm going to click on the save button in this demo list we have three columns the first one is product name the second one is category third one is price now we are going to create a flow which will insert values into this demo list okay let us get started next go to power automate here you need to select the proper environment and solution in my case it is smart insure i'm going to open my solution and then you need to click on this plus new drop down go to automation cloud flow and then you need to select instant flow we are using instant flow because it is easy to understand next you need to provide the flow name i have given the flow name as insert values into sharepoint next you need to select the trigger for this flow that that is the first one manually trigger a flow then click on create button this is our manual trigger right for this we are going to add three input fields which is of text type i'm going to give the name as product name here we have three columns with product name category and price the same name we are going to the same name we are using in our input text second one is category the second one is category third one is price now we have created the manual trigger with three input values which is product name category and price in next step we need to add action right for that we need to click on this plus new step here you need to search for sharepoint just select this sharepoint here search for create item select this create item action in this create item action it is asking for site address next go back to your sharepoint here you need to copy the url until your site name in my case my site name is smart insure so i am going to copy the url till smart insure i am going to copy this url and then i am going to paste it in this site address just click on this drop down and here you need to select this enter custom value and then paste the url this demo list will show up here just select it as soon as you select it all the three column names will pop up here we are not going to hard code this title category value and price instead we are going to add dynamic content just click on this title and 
in manual trigger flow search for product name here it is the product name is our title right just click on it next for category value it will show the choices but we are not going to hard code it instead we are going to add the dynamic content which will come from this manual trigger so select enter custom value and under manual trigger you need to go search for under manual trigger you need to search for category here it is just click on it next next same procedure for price under manual trigger search for price and here it is just click on it next click on this save button see it is getting saved now the flow has been successfully saved just go to test click manually and click on test it is signing into sharepoint and it is successfully signed in just click on continue here we need to give the input for product name category and price for product name i have given samsung mobile for category i have given electronics for price i have given 30000 and next i'm going to click on this run flow now our flow has run successfully just click on done and now i can see the green tick marks now let us go back to our sharepoint and just refresh the page boom here is the record which got inserted into sharepoint demo list by using power automate instant flow and this is how we insert values into sharepoint list by using power automate instant flow thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video